So I'm going to apply my strategies. Okay. How much will Michelle save on the book? Okay. How much will Michelle save? That's going to be my question. You know, what do I want? How much money will Michelle save on the book? So I'm going to try to say Michelle saves this much money. Okay, sounds good. Everybody, quick question. Does that make sense? Step one, we're looking to find out how much Michelle saves. Yes or no? Are we good on that? Okay. I want everybody to participate there, but it looks like the majority of us got that. Okay, cool. Now, step two, let's read the information. Information says, hey, Michelle sees that the $11 book that she wants to buy, it's going to have a 5% discount applied at checkout bringing the total show pay to $10.45. Cool, sounds good. So, some people might be thinking, okay, uh, how much is she saving on the book? Well, that discount is 5% and it's $11, but I also see 10.45. So a lot of people might sit here and stop and pause and, and wonder, what am I supposed to do the 5% with? Is it supposed to be the 11? Is it supposed to be the 1045? Which one of these is it supposed to be? This is where it's gonna pay, and it's gonna pay very nicely if you simply know what the numbers mean. The 5% means a discount. The $11 is what the book originally costs, and 1045 is what it costs after the discount. Everybody, in simple terms, if I want to find a discount, I got to figure out what the difference is. I got to figure out what the difference is between what I was supposed to pay and what I actually pay. That's what the discount's going to be, right? What the difference is between what you paid and what you were supposed to pay. So if I were to go ahead and just say, hey, $11 minus $10.45, well, guess what, my party people? That's going to be 55 cents and you're done. That's it. You saw that they gave you the beginning amount, the ending amount, the discount is the in between. You're done. That's it. Did they give you extra information? Absolutely. But it's not really extra information because you could have used that too. If you wanted to find a discount, you also could have said, you also could have said 5% of the $11 because again, this is your discount. So 5% of $11 is 0 0.05 times 11, which is 55 cents. Two ways to do it. They gave you enough information to do it in multiple ways, but it's cool. It's fine. As long as you know what the information means, your brain will do the work for you. As long as you allow yourself to process the information correctly, you can do work correctly. So before you pay any huge amount of dollars or money to anybody claiming that they can help you pass the ASVAB, you should always consider what they offer for free. With us, we're gonna be offering our full program for free for a full week. All you gotta do is do that right there or scan that QR code and you'll get access to all of our classes, practice problems, courses, everything for a full week so you know exactly how it works and you have the exact confidence that you need to raise your score. Get started now. I'll see you in there.